do community organizing efforts navigate the state's election system to reach new voters? And I want to emphasize today, we're really focused on uh, the state's election system. We think of ourselves now as in an information landscape, but we know that the level of information that's coming, period, um, to voters or potential voters vary significantly um, by your demographic profile. So we start with an inequitable landscape due to the way our system functions, and then election officials want to ensure that they administer the election appropriately according to law and to reach voters with the information that they have. And then community organizations, voter advocacy groups, others in, in a nonpartisan fashion will reach out to groups to try to make up the difference, but they're really fighting an uphill battle. Community groups and voter advocates groups are part of an uh, implementation in nearly all types of election reforms, but they often are not considered in the policy formulation process um, and can often not be part of the official implementation process. It requires a significant commitment that often is unfunded right, by funders, by grants, um, or other entities that are providing funding. They squeeze that um, you know, that source as much as possible, their own time, um, but they are not funded often to do that level of work. Many don't have the resources to fully implement or engage with the reform that potentially impacts the, the success of the reform. As we've now shown a number of times last week and this week, official voter materials are a trusted source of information. They matter. They are where most voters across um, groups are getting their information, so we recommend that they should be easy to use, written in plain language, available in different formats and languages. And then friends and family are key information source. We think it's very important, whenever possible, to conduct surveys that are representative of the overall voter population. It is representative by race and ethnicity in California, and sample size is very similar to the overall eligible youth voter population as well.